since I was 15, I knew at the age of 25, you know, I, I, mean, I didn't know, but I knew I played in my head that I was going to be a world champion at 25. Here I am, 25, you know. Like I said, everything that I've been through, the suspension, you know, the, all the things that happened with me, just, just prepared myself and made me a better person for this moment. So I'm ready, man. I can't wait. You know, I, I got here, like, I, I'm like a moment's boy, man. I've never been more than two <laughs> weeks away from my family before I moved here and everything. And I got here with no English, you know, and $70 in my pocket. And I didn't know anybody, you know. I knew Marcus, that we were from the same city, you know, he's my jiu-jitsu coach. And I didn't actually knew him. I saw him out twice, you know, when we were hanging out, partying and everything. But I was a fighter already in Brazil, you know. I had 21 fights already, and uh, I gave him my profile, you know. And that was the time when ATC was starting. So I told him, man, see what you can do for me, you know. I need, I need, to, I need to do something, man. You know, back in the day, the situation, my family wasn't as good, you know, so I was like, I need to do something. My older brother was a manager in a bank, you know, my younger brother was too young, and I was the fighter. And I was like, you know what, man? Uh, and thank God everything works out. And that's the thing, though, when you want something, you know, and you want it really bad, and you put your work on it, and you, you just make it happen, and you don't think, you don't second doubt, you know? And here I am. I just couldn't see it, how I was gonna do it living in Brazil, you know, because the money and the, the things just, it wasn't possible. So when I, I moved here and everything, and I saw like, man, this is fun, you know. And when it really hit me, it was after my my layover for you know, the suspension that I had because I was here and I couldn't go back to Brazil because I was I, like processed with the visa and everything, you know. It, it was really hard in the time to get a green card and everything. And I was here like I couldn't do anything for eight months, you know. Uh, I could have just trained, but when you just train and you don't have a fight, you know, you don't have a, a go or anything like that, it's kind of like it's pointless because you do that every day of your life, you know. So it was like, man, you know, I, that's, when I got the chance to come back, you know, it was like, man, I'm, I don't want to feel like this anymore. You know? And I remember, like, every day I remember the feeling that I had when I lost to John Fitch, you know, I just, just put everything together, you know, and what I want for me, you know, the things that I want to accomplish, and I just take it on my phone. And I'm just a kid, and you know? I'm 25 years old, and uh, I started fighting professionally when I was 15, you know, so I had childhood, but I didn't have it. I was on training, and I got here with 19 years old, so when I got here, it was just, you know, and I actually, I stopped partying, like, Two, two years ago, I, I know like I had a little, a little bit of fame and you know, a little bit of money on the side, and like I started enjoying the life and everything. But you know, it just off the side, I just look back where I came from, you know, everything that's going on in my life, and I was like, whoa, 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 it's not, that's not where you came here for, you know, it's not partying, having fun, things like that. It's always gonna be there, you know. Do what you're supposed to do, you know, do what you came here to do first. But after that, you find the adventures you want.